Here it is, the trusty Dremel 4000 high performance rotary tool. This specific uh, combined set is the 4230. Appears to be made for those in the dental profession, haha. <laughs> anyway, it comes with two attachments, three accessories. Some of those accessories and attachments are listed on the back. One thing that I found surprising about this particular tool is that it is actually made in Mexico. The storage case is also made in Mexico. The accessories are made all over the place. So there's a look at the outside of the case. It's fairly substantial, much larger than the Dremel cases of yesteryear. And inside we've got some, uh, looks like warranty information and a manual that fits into the slot. Here's the sanding and grinding guide, as well as the circle cutting guide. And I guess that's a straight edge piece for turning it into an edge guide. And the accessory bin comes with some polishing. Uh, wheels and a little bit of polishing compound uh, Some cutoff wheels and sand various sanding drums and uh, accessories obviously the Stamped steel wrench that we all know and love As well as a uh, looks like this is a cutting bit And here is the tool itself This is the Dremel 4000 so it has an on-off switch here, there's the spindle lock there, so it makes it easier to uh, loosen and, and tighten the, the chuck, or the collet I should say. Um, it has variable speed control, but it also has a feedback system, so that if, it's, uh, if you're grinding away at something and the motor's under load, it'll actually increase the speed a little bit to match that, that speed setting. This is a uh, hard plastic shell, but it also has all these black areas are, are like a rubbery material. So it feels pretty good in the hand. It's a little heavy to be using like a pencil. So I guess this slides up and down so you can adjust uh, depth of, 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 I don't know, but um, I guess you'd have a sanding drum in there. And you can adjust how much it protrudes from the guide. Whereas with the circle cutting accessory, that goes on there. And it looks like, how does this work? You can put that little pin in the center hole and then rotate it around that center hole. And that's how you cut circles. Oh, okay, so you also have that same depth adjustment. Oh, yeah, duh, you adjust it with this. So the minimum hole you can cut looks like two inches about. The maximum would be, what, 12? Yep, 12 inches. That is a low speed. So I guess the markings on there roughly correspond to RPM because the range is from 5,000 to 35,000 RPM.
Overall, it uh, seems pretty well built. Um, I do like the, the variable speed controller. It felt very nice uh, to use. It's very intuitive. Uh, having the on-off switch is something that I'm not used to um, because I, I'm used to one of the old um, Dremels that had the on-off switch built into the speed controller. Overall, I, I really like the way this thing looks, the way it feels. It feels sturdy. Um, like I said, it, it is a little bit heavy, but honestly not too bad. And the, the way that it's shaped is actually very good too. There's a, a, like a finger cutout, and um, it's, it's very ergonomically shaped, I should say. The case is pretty nice too, um, and I would imagine all of these little accessories fit into various spots. So that's um, any of these threaded adapters sort of press onto there, I, I would imagine. Sort of. Doesn't look like there's much space for this, but I can just sit in there, I guess. This is just a blow molded case, so everything sort of snaps in like a socket set. It looks like there is space for a bit if you want to put the tool away with a bit still in it, so that's nice. I see markings all over the place for, uh, you know, storage for things. I guess that just sits in the slot. So the cord just fits over here. That's pretty nice. You don't really have to fumble with it too much. I remember the old cases were so tight that you really had to struggle with the cord to get everything to shut, but this one is no problem. And this case really does look very nice. It has a, uh, a flat piece of plastic as the hinge here. It's not a real hinge. Now I did try to look for a more basic kit, maybe preferably one that only had the tool itself and the case. But when I purchased this, one did not appear to be available. This was the smallest kit that you could get, and it is about $90 on Amazon. It's about $99 if you go to a big box hardware store. So that's the Dremel 4000 with the 230 accessory pack.